Cash is falling out of favour as Australians enjoy the convenience of cards to make everyday purchases. Credit cards are running at about $32 billion spend per month um, and debit cards about three times that amount. So the debit card market has taken over from cash. Morning everyone. But that's not the case for Tahira Nasrat's migrant clients. The tax agent says they still prefer to store their cash at home. And they don't believe the banking system. They believe that if they leave the money or hold the money in the bank, uh, they may have no power over the bank system. They may have no power over controlling their cash or life. RBA data shows Australians have more than $100 billion stashed away in banknotes. That's around $4,000 per person. That's despite cash being used less and less. In 2019, it accounted for just 27% of transactions. And the concern for authorities is how much cash is used by money launderers. Cash is a red flag indicator for financial crime in certain circumstances. It can be very useful for the illicit economy. The former government tried to ban cash payments above $10,000. That legislation was killed in the Senate in 2020. Limits could still be introduced in future, but experts say cash will still have a role to play. This is the government's idea. Tahira Nasrat says authorities should target people breaking the law, but shouldn't limit cash for the elderly and migrants. Australia is a multicultural country, and I think by Doing that and being really, really tough on the system, it will stop a lot of people from operating normally. For now, it seems cash is still king for some. Nasim Khadem, ABC News.